back in the main mix again. We can now think about sending the main mix to the stage foldbacks, if you've got some foldback speakers on stage for the performers, or we can send them an independent mix. Now, this is our main out left and right on the Behringer XR12, and just underneath we've got two other outputs called AUX1 and AUX2, and these represent our AUX mixers or submixers, and in this case they're called buses when we click on them in the XAIR interface. So if I choose bus 1, this refers to AUX1 down here, and what this means is we get a whole set of blanked out faders here because none of them have been turned up but you can see as I'm talking the signal for channel 1 and 2 is bouncing up and down because the microphones down here are still picking this up and if I turn down the main mix I'll go back to the main left and right for a moment turn that right down all right so I'm talking into the mic now we've got nothing coming out of main left and right but if I then pop that down and come back into bus mix number one and I need to connect something to the AUX1 output which normally would be your foldback wedge on stage or something like that but I've got a little speaker down here I've prepared earlier and this one is a powered speaker so you need to use powered speakers if you don't have a, a power amp driving them so we've got a power amp down here that goes to our main left and right but for any external extra submix speakers like this one they need to have their own power source so this one is actually plugged in you can see there's a, a kettle cord behind it plugged into the mains power so I've connected that just with a balanced audio cable and pop that into bus out one and if we just have a little listen to what the result is so doing my check one two on the microphone again and I'm going to raise channel one so check one two one two one two one two one two okay and you'll notice that there's no reverb on my voice now because the effect return also has its own fader in the submix as well so if I bring that up in bus one so we're in bus one remember and bring that same effects one return fader up one two one two one two okay so this means you've got independent control of effects sends and returns to a couple of submix outputs as well as the main front of house. So it's really simple and easy to use with a lot of flexibility. That's nice and easy to access with this little application that's encased in the one screen.